Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general um, reading energy check-in for the zodiac sign of Libra. Uh, this is going to be in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the end of August going into September. So we got we are going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the end of the month. And then uh, we'll see what the possible outcome and advice are. Before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on new posts, uh, that uh, new videos that post on my channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And uh, also, if uh, any of you guys are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, over energies for Libra. What is surrounding Libra? What does Libra need to know? What can Libra expect for the end of August? Going into September, sun, moon, rising, and Vita times for Libra. energy, six of swords, ten of wands, three of swords, we have the emperor, Aries energy, so you might have that in your chart, you might be dealing with someone that has that in your chart, the nine of swords, and the justice card, Libra energy, so there you are Libra. that they have caused someone, the stress and anxiety, feels like someone here is experiencing karma. Uh, we do have some, someone here that's self-reflecting, introspecting here, that has taken a step back. Uh, someone here might be going through some spiritual enlightenment here in regards to their behavior. So Libra, this could either be you or someone that you're dealing with. You just apply this to your own unique situation. Also, the roles could be flipped or reverse. I mean, you apply this to you, you know, a lover, an ex, a family member, a friend. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords. <sighs> I feel like someone here is feeling bad for the lies and deception that they told here to someone. I feel like someone here is having trouble moving on from that. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles right here. Why is this uh, Three of Swords here? Wow. Tell me about the Emperor. Now, uh, feel free to yeah, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. So either you did this to someone or someone did this to you, uh, Libra. I feel like as each day passes, this weight on your shoulder is getting heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier here. You 
could have been dealing with someone that had a huge major temper problem also. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, I feel like they had so much energy that someone here couldn't keep up. Someone here was bouncing off the walls. I'm feeling like someone here has attention problems. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Right, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone here is holding on to dear life because whatever happened here, it is really causing someone some major stress and anxiety here. Why is this Justice card here? Justice in the Two of Pentacles. I mean, someone here could be coming in with an apology to fix things here. So apply this to your own unique situation, Libra. It could be with a, a ex, a friend, uh, a partner, a family member, a co-worker. But someone here is ex experiencing their karma here. And someone here is not doing well. Uh, um, outcome and advice here for Libra regarding their situation. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for Libra. For the end of August, going into September. again. The High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. All right, we have the Queen of Swords. So we have a male and a female energy here. So place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. You could be dealing uh, with someone that has Aries, Leo, Sag in their chart. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Four of Swords. I mean, someone here is going to be healing from this major betrayal here. I mean, someone here is going to move on from this, trying to find some sort of happiness for themselves. Um, because whatever went on here with someone, it, it just, it's just not really going to go anywhere. And I feel like someone knows that and, they, they, and they're knowing, their inner knowing is to focus on themselves and their happiness here. Perhaps you had a family with this individual. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Someone might be having some sort of sleepless, sleepless nights too. Having nightmares also. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Why is this High Priestess here? Someone's moving on to have a new beginning for themselves. We have the Three of Swords here. Yeah, someone's not staying for this. I mean, there could have been multiple betrayals here, multiple heartbreaks. There's this inner knowing that it's going to happen again. Why is this Queen of Wands here? We have this Knight of Wands. So this Queen of Wands is sort of like releasing themselves, uh, moving on, you know, finding their freedom again, They're just going to have a good old time with their life. Why is this Four of Wands here? Four of Wands and Temperance. Someone is seeking uh, peace, stability, and happiness here. Balance too. I mean, someone here is going to seek some sort of peace yeah and i feel like there, this process might be a bit slow but i feel like there's going to be some sort of patience here why is this five of swords here five of swords and a nine of wands why is this four of swords um three of wands so someone here is sick of the empty victories here 
I mean, we have someone here that's in, de in denial of all the pain that they have caused someone here. I mean, someone here is having trouble really introspecting and self-reflecting, taking inventory of the situation so that so that this doesn't happen again. Yeah, someone here is in complete denial that they really, really hurt someone that they cared about or care about. I mean, this could have been a third party situation. Um, so this could be a soulmate twin flame connection. Um, it doesn't have to be, but that's the energy that's coming up here. I mean, someone here is like sort of like blocking their sort of like full on going with their ego here, pretending like nothing happened. I mean, someone here is in, in complete denial. I feel, I feel like this, whoever this person that you're dealing with, this person is not honest with themselves. Even though there is like proof, perhaps proof that this person like really, really, really did something really bad, which I feel like this person did. So Libra, if this message resonated, give this uh, video a thumbs up, leave a comment down in the comment section below, share this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.